Hi everyone, my name is Dave White. I'm the owner of NSR Tactical. Today we are at the Holster Smith workshop and we are going to be making a one-piece knife sheath. This is just a sample uh, so you know what we're working on. This is some of the tools that we prefer to use. A arbor press, some tape, a measuring device, a crayon, this is a Stabilo pencil, you can get them off of Amazon. A straight edge, this is an Omni grid, you can get them off of Amazon also. Razor knife, countersink, some protective equipment, thermometer. Today we're going to be using a vacuum press, a t-shirt press, a drill press, and a sander. This is the materials that you're going to be using. Some Kydex, some eyelets, and your molding prop. So let's get started. The first step in making a one-piece sheath is that we have to determine how much material we actually need for the job. We're going to use our prop and we're going to lay it on here and determine exactly how much we need. We're going to take our measuring tool. We're going to eyeball it. And a little bit of extra material is always better. Looks like six inches will do it. I'm going to mark out six inches on the top. Mark out six inches on the bottom. I'm going to take our straight edge and our razor knife. We're going to line up the two holes, I mean, excuse me, the two lines. I'm going to score once, score twice. And then we're going to break. Now, I hold my hands like this. It gives good leverage for the break. Pop it. Should crack right in half. Okay, we no longer need that piece. Now, we don't need 12 inches here, so I'm going to cut about 4 inches off of this. I'm going to measure 8, top, bottom, straight edge, score once. Or twice. Same thing. I'm going to grip it like this. Crack it right in half. No longer need that piece. And this is the amount of material that we need. And that's all we need to do to the kydex. And then we're ready for the next step, which is forming. We're ready to do the heating and the forming. And we at NSR like to use vacuum presses and t shirt presses. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way, put the kydex under the uh, parchment paper here, shiny side up. We have grainy side, we have shiny side. Just throw it in there. We're going to lock it down. All right, well, while it's heating up, I'm going to talk about how we have this vacuum former set up. This is an HD 200. Uh, it's uh, their medium size vacuum press and now I have some foam and I have some rag. What uh, the foam is going to be basically the back portion of the sheath. The rags here are going to act as um, airways uh, for the air to escape. If we don't do that the membrane, the silicone membrane, will create a seal all the way around this foam and you won't get any suction on top. So you basically won't get any, um, any definition out of it. All right, our Kydex is just about ready to take out. Notice I have gloves on now because all this is very hot. Move it out of the way. 
Lay our kydex down. Put our mold on there. I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to hold it in place. Close the lid. Open the valve. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to detail around the knife. And now we let it cool. Now that we have it in the former, there, there's a couple things we can do. We can either let it air cool like this, which generally takes about five minutes or so. Or what we can do is have a bucket of water, possibly with some ice in it, and a rag. You'll take that wet rag and you place it on top right here and it'll cool it off much faster. So we're just going to let it air cool for now and we'll come back to it. All right, it's been about five minutes. It should be done cooling off. You can touch it with your hand and it'd be just mildly warm. It's ready to come out. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just stick my finger in there, peel it up, and let's have a look. All right, we got some pretty decent detail all through here. All right. Here's the back side. And it's probably going to have a slight bow to it. This one doesn't have quite much of a bow. That's pretty pretty straight. So the next step is going to be laying out our design. After it's done cooling off, we need to safely get this knife out of this out of the sheath. So these two pieces are stuck together pretty good. So in order to get them apart, you just crack it open. And it may get a little stiff. You may have to take a flathead screwdriver and put it in there and twist a little bit. But anyway, just peel it open like that. Grip the handle like this. Hold here, pinch here and just peel it out. You should be able to. Oh, it's not done cracking. Just cut out. There you, go. you want to keep your hands, your fingers away from the sharp edge, obviously. <laughs> uh, speaking from experience there. All right, now we're going to do the design layout of the fold-over one-piece sheath. Now, this is where your creative mind can really flourish. You can have a literally an unlimited amount of designs. You know, just everyone is different. This is how I do it. Now, when you look at a knife, you have to determine where the retention point is going to be. On this particular knife, you see the big lump right there. That's, that's a pretty good retention point. However, we don't want to cut this thing so high that you can't get the knife out of the sheath. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it about right there. All right, and just enough lump in there that it has good retention, but it can still get out. Now, since this is a fold-over sheath, the eyelets are only going to be on one side. Now, however many eyelets go into it is completely up to you. I'm probably going to put about three. That's just my, me personally. Now, our magic number for everything is three-eighths of an inch, okay? So we're going to do 3 eighths from the blade out. And that's where our eyelet's going to be. And then 3 eighths from that is where the edge of the kydex is going to be. So let's just start down here. And we'll mark 7 eighths. Come down here. Mark 7 eighths. So it's 7 eighths away from the blade. Let them draw a straight line. Okay, and then for this part, we can just round it out. Okay, so let's uh, actually, let's draw our vertical line here, get our top line. Okay, now, three-eighths in, we're going to have our 
pilot line. So let's say, kind of winging it here, let's do three quarters and then put our second one about halfway. This is really, really up to you. Let's do an inch and a half. And then the final one we'll put another inch and a half. Okay. Now we'll to go three eighths past that. Okay. Now we'll just kind of round this out. So we'll have three eyelets. One, two, three and then a rounded nose. All right, that's it for this step. Now we're going to go to drilling and then putting the eyelets in. All right, now it's time to drill a hole in our one-piece fold-over sheet. I'm going to grab my safety glasses and get to it. All right, now that we have our holes in our one-piece fold-over knife sheath, now we need to clean it up. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use a countersink bit. This is a 5 8 bit, or possibly a half inch. It doesn't really matter as long as it's bigger than a quarter inch. I've used a 3 8 It doesn't really matter as long as it's bigger than the hole that you're drilling. So let's get to it. All right, now the holes are clean. Now it's time to put eyelets in it. And what you're going to see is that the large side of the eyelet gets pushed through the crayon side. Now, when doing this, you have to make sure that the eyelet is fully seated on the die. All right, we got our eyelets in. We're ready to cut. One tip on cutting, always cut on the outside of the line. Just to give you a little bit of extra because you can always take more off and you can't put more on. So let's cut. Hey guys, we're going to take a little break right now, and I'm just going to say that if you have any questions about any of this, go ahead and shoot me an email, dave at nsrtactical.com, and I'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Also, if this looks like it's too much, or you just you know, you know, a lot of equipment to invest in, or if you just don't have the time, go ahead and take a look at our website, nsrtactical.com, and uh, we'll be able to make anything you want. All right, thanks for watching. Now let's get back to it.
just got done with the rough cut, now we need to sand. And I'm going to be using the OmniGrid. And how we make everything consistent is that we put the OmniGrid up here against the eyelets. And we pick a line, typically the 3 16 line, and line up the edge with the eyelets. Makes everything look clean, crisp, straight. So let's get to it. All right, we just got done with the sanding, and the last step, well, second to last step, is knocking all the burrs off. After we do that, we would generally move the polishing. However, that's going to be for another video. All right, we just got done sanding. Now, for the last step, other than polishing, we need to uh, pre-buff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking off all the sharp edges and making it nice and smooth. So let's get to it. All right, we got all the nicks and burrs and all that taken off. Uh, what I was using is an aluminum oxide ultra fine uh, wheel, and it works great. That's what we use daily. Um, so other than this, you can send this out just like this. Uh, the next step for us would be polishing. Um, however, that's going to be in another video. All right, that concludes our tutorial. My name is Dave White. I'm owner of NSRTactical.com. Follow us on Facebook as NSR Tactical Gear and on Instagram as just NSR Tactical. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>